What's going on guys? It's Rob or Revlimiter here. And if you're in the market for a new set of pedals or you're upgrading your pedals, I got the list for you. Stay tuned, you're gonna wanna watch this video. I put together a nice list of over 75 different pedals that I was able to find. If you have a set of pedals or know about a set of pedals that's not on this list, um, please let me know in the comments. And with that said, I'm pretty sure this is probably gonna be the biggest list on the net right now. Um, took me like two days to put it together. Hit the rev limiter website, roll through. You just simply pick your pedal, and it's it's simple. And uh, we'll be going through everything from regular pedals to load cell pedals to hydraulic pedals to pneumatic pedals. Um, everything from billet, aluminum, steel, carbon fiber, you name it. Like I said, the price is going to range all the way from a hundred all the way up to sixty five hundred dollars. We're going to go through each pedal one by one. You're more than welcome to follow along with us. Um, you can find this complete list at revlimiter.com. Just visit revlimiter.com and you'll see there's a sim racing pedal section. Click that. That'll bring you to the complete list. If you want to follow along with us or if you just want to head right to the list and start searching for pedals that you might be interested in, that's why I built it. So I spent upwards of two days building this list. If this helps you at all, I'd appreciate it if you leave a like, a comment, or subscribe to the channel. It would help me tr tremendously, and I would appreciate it. So with that said, let's get right into this list here. Let's get right into the list. This is RevLimiter.com. Um, you can see here a list of sim racing pedals in 2024. Hey guys, it's RevLimiter. I spent about a part of two days putting this list together. For any hobbyist looking to buy or upgrade a new set of sim pedals. So with that said, we're going to start at the cheapest pedals. Um, they're the Camus CP5s. Start at $108 Canadian, $79 US. Um, not much to look at here. They're just a basic set of pedals. Um, you can see the image here. As far as specs and info goes, there's not much info on the site about them. Just shows what they're compatibility is um so yeah that's the first set next set phoenix hex csl 117 dollars 86 dollars us um again they're kind of regular pedals nothing special about them they're not load cell pedals they're just your real basic entry level pedal um move on to the next fast master tpm e3 pm Moving up to $176 Canadian, $129 US. Again, they're a regular style pedal. No load cell or anything. Um, they call them a magnetic pedal set. 200 kilograms of resistance, it says though. Um, so they're $129. Again, another budget pedal set. Fussmaster T3 PA. $190 Canadian, $139 US. They get a little shinier pedals. Still not a load cell pedal though. The regular pedal set. Uh, moving on up, we got the Mazda SRPs. $217. Again, a regular pedal set. Just pretty much your stock pedals that you can get. Uh, Mazda got a slow website. I believe there was, I seen something about a breach on um, Reddit. I don't know how true that is, allegedly. Uh, but these are the Mazda SRP pedals. Again, basic pedals, not a load cell pedal. Capable of up to putting 100, 100 kilograms. Oh, it is a load cell. Sorry. It is a load cell. I didn't realize that. I'll have to add that in there. So it's a load cell pedal. Uh, next is the Najam K2X 95 kilogram load cell. $263 US. 180 euro. Decent looking pedal. So basically, um, I'm just going to shoot through this list. Again, I put this list together. Spent the time. Um, for anybody looking to buy new pedals or upgrade their pedals 
we have a list here from $100 all the way down to $6,000. So this list is going to be on the rev limiter website. Easy to find. Just click sim race and pedals at the top. Um, with that said, we get the Nan Jams. We get the Simpsons. Um, these kind of come out after the Sim Jacks did. I got the Sim Jacks. These are a little tiny bit cheaper. Fairly popular. Sell to AliExpress. A lot of people have having good things to say about them. Uh, they start at 274 Canadian, 200 USD. Next, we're moving down. Pretty much all load cells from here and hydraulic pedals. Benetech CSL load cell. $263 Canadian. Decent looking pedals, 199 euro. Um, they are 213 US. Simjack Pros. This is the pedals I'm currently using right now. I just did a review on them. Um, again, they sell through AliExpress. Pretty decent pedals. Especially for the money, 200 kilogram load cell. Uh, the Camus load cell 100s. These here are what a lot of people are talking about right now on Reddit and on YouTube. Um, so they look like a fairly decent pedal, fairly decent price. They come in at 354 Canadian, 259 US, 100 kilogram load cell. Um, so decent looking pedals. Um, might look into trying some Camus products one of these days. Next is the Thrustmaster TLCM, 409 Canadian, 299 US, 100 kilogram load cell, fairly popular pedals. Um, I've used these before in one of the sim line, uh, sim racing shops. I got a chance to test these out. Fairly popular pedals. Um, then we got the Fanatec CSL Elite V2s. Um, again, another load cell pedal, 90 kilogram load cell, $439 Canadian, 320 US. Um, not too much to say about these. Um, the other Fanatec, the Club Sports, way better. For the price, I just save up and get them ones. The Aztec La Primas. Um, so they are a decent looking pedal, um, especially for the price. Not sure. I know a lot of people use their products, 180 kilogram load cell. So yeah, that's a decent load cell in it. Um, so they seem to be decent looking pedals, decent load cell, decent price if you want something a little higher in quality. Next, we got the Simforge MRK1s, um, 80 kilogram load cell, $505 Canadian, uh, $369 US. Decent looking pedals. Like they got a nice build to them. Here's the base plate. So again, I'm just showing you the pedals. If you're not interested in looking at this whole list and you're just interested in browsing the list yourself, head on over to revlimiter.com. Um, basically, I'm just showing you the guide for the ultimate list of pedals in 2024. Um, with that said, let's keep going here. We have the VNM light pedals, 200 kilogram load cell, $506 Canadian, 307 US. Um, again, VNM seems to be fairly popular. I got a good buddy, Jack. Um, shout out to Jack. He helped me with the thumbnail for this hair video. Um, so these are the VMM lights. Jack's got the other VNMs. I, I think the V1s, I believe they are. Um, so they look like a decent pedal, 200 kilogram load cell. Then we got the Gyros Sim XRs, 100 kilogram load cell, 535 Canadian, 390 US. Um, construction looks pretty good. Got some colored elastomers or springs here. All in all, construction kind of looks similar to what my Sim Jacks are, but different sets up, different setup here. A little bit more adjustments here. Uh, then we keep continuing down. Now we're getting into $586 Canadian, 427 That's the club sports I was talking about. These are Fanatex. Super popular pedals. A lot of people race with these hair pedals. A lot of people love them. A lot of people swear by them. Um, Fanatec is also going through some issues right now and some turmoil. Hopefully they get that all worked out. Love to see them stay around and get things all fixed up. 
Uh, next, we got the Race Fair Lightning, 120 kilogram load cell, 605 Canadian, 402 US dollars, 499 euros. Um, looks like a decent set of pedals. A little small, short this way, it looks like, but I mean, I'm not sure. It could just be the photo. Then we get into the Logitech Pros, 100 kilogram load cell. Got some special little features in there for the brakes. Uh, these are the new Logitech pedals that they just come out with, I believe, within the last year or so. Love to give these a try, especially to pair them up with the G29. That'd be pretty decent. Um, so, yeah, they look pretty pretty cool. Load cell brake, modular design. Um, yeah, Logitech pedals, the Pro pedals, not bad. Next, we're going to move on to the Aztec. I think I'm saying that right. Forte. Not sure. Let me know in the comments if I'm not saying that right. 180 kilogram load cell. 628. 459 USD. Again, fairly popular brand. Um, they've been around for a little while now. Looks like some high-end pedals. Looks like they're built with quality. Um, 459 US. 628 bucks Canadian. Next, we got Mazda, company really making a big name for himself, other than what I said about earlier. They got the 200 kilogram load cell, 628 Canadian, $459 US. They are the CRP pedals. So their website seems to be a tad bit slow as well. Here's the construction of the Mazas. They look pretty cool. And they're fastly becoming a super competitor in the whole marketplace. With that said, let's go down into the Forte S series. $684 Canadian, $499 US. These are the S series Fortes. You can see here, here's the single pedals. I believe the only difference between these are they come separate, but I don't know. Just separated, yes. Okay, so that's the difference between the Forte and the Forte S series. Uh, let's keep going here. We got the Mechas. 200 kilogram load cell, 708 Canadian, $517 US. Decent pedals. I talked to this company last year. Amazing support. Um, they always seem to be sold out or out of stock. That's the only thing. Obviously, they're fairly popular. Don't see much complaints about them online. Uh, so, yeah, that's the Mecca Evo, 708 US, 517 Canadian. Next, we've got on the Sim Magics. Again, another fairly popular brand. 100 kilogram load cell, 710 Canadian, 519 US. Full cool looking pedal. Shows the design here. Got the haptics into the back of it. Or it's showing you how you can put the haptics into the back of it. Then we get the Zalems, the Zetas, 732 US, 534, sorry, 732 Canadian, 534 US. These bad boys are 100 kilogram load cell. Not too, too much info there on them. Then we go down to the Caparls MK3s, 200 kilogram load cell, 733 Canadian, 535 USD. Looks like some nice all aluminum construction. The box down underneath there. For the load cell. Different color elastometers and springs. And it says it's a DIY box racing kit, so I imagine you build these pedals yourself. Uh, then we got the VMV ones. I believe these are what my buddy Jaxer has. Um, shout out to Jaxer. You can find his channel linked. Just click my channel. And if you're viewing the channel, you can see he's one of the extra channels that are linked to at the bottom of mine. I believe he's got these 750 Canadian, 550 USD. If these are the ones he's got, he loves them. Um, he's still getting used to them a little bit, but he, uh, yeah, he says they're decent pedals. Another popular company, VNM. 
Then we got the the Venoms, eight tracks, twos, two hundred kilogram load cell, seven ninety four Canadian, five seventy nine USD. And these look like a decent set of pedals. They got uh, lots of options here. You can add LEDs, some heel wedges, base plate, uh, brake kit, springs, throttle springs, clutch springs. You can make the pedals different colors, blue, red. Uh, white all different colors so it's pretty cool they're fairly customizable um not too bad for a good customizable pedal and then we got the sim grades the sim grade vx pros 200 kilogram load saw 802 us 585 dollars us um uh, these bad boys look like they're designed to last to a war then we're getting on to let's just Calibration software with dead zones, no linear curves, ultimate price performance, load cells used, 200 kilograms, large smooth pedal forces, stainless steel ball bearings. Yes, they look like they're pretty decently made. So the sim grades. Um, then we got the Aztec Pagani Hararas. Uh, obviously, they are made after the Pagani Harara car. Uh, brought to life through you. Can, uh, Yep, so Pagani Automobile. These are in a collab with Pagani. Super high-end pedals. Um, and they are hydraulic. So they're not using a load cell. They're using hydraulic. We're going to start to get into some hydraulic pedals here. Next, we've got the GPX Blues. 200 kilogram load cell. 874 Canadian. 638 USD. Not much to go off on the website, but that's what they look like. And we got the BJ GT Pros 200 kilogram load cell, 880 Canadian, 643 USD. All billet steel, it says. Steel family made of stainless steel. A nice looking set of pedals, built well. Again, these guys got a ton of reviews online. Um, so they must be doing something right. Then we go down to the Conspite CPP lights. Another hydraulic pedal, 883 Canadian, 646 USD. Again, a nice looking pedal set. Hydraulic, 603 dollars euros. So I've never used a hydraulic pedal set. If you've got one or have used one before, let me know what the difference between that and the load cell would be. If you, you can feel much of a difference, not sure. Uh, but I think it would be pretty cool to try. And we got the Virtual Racing School, the DF Pro. Again, super popular pedal with the Virtual Racing School. They're customizable with the colors and stuff. Um, 140 kilogram load cell. Go down to the Simagic P1000s. Again, another super popular pedal, super popular brand. These are hydraulics, 916 Canadian, 669 USD. Fairly fancy looking pedal, nice build. You can get them with the inverted series pedals. Pretty cool looking. Looks like carbon faces. Uh, then we get down to the Huskevelts or Huskin, Husenvelts. I'm not sure exactly how to say that, but I think I'm close. This is a Sprint. Again, another super, super popular pedal. Been around a long time. Um, a lot of people believe that the sim jacks that I got were based kind of something similar off of these. Um, but yeah, a lot of the high-end racers use these things. These and the Ultimates. Husenvelts or Huskenvelts. Or... So it's 120 kilogram load cell, 931, 675, 679 US. Then we got the NG GTs, 950 Canadian, 679 USD. And these bad boys have 3D uh, wraps on them, I believe. Or the pedals are car pedal faces are carbon. Uh, but they are 100 kilogram load cell. Got lots of info on them here, which is good. That's what you want. Looks like they come with some extra gear here. Um, so they look like some pretty high end pedals. And then the last pedal. 
uh, before we get to the one thousand to six thousand dollar pedals is the Mecca hydraulics. Which again, the Mecca Evos we looked at earlier, they were the load cell. This is pretty much the same pedal, but hydraulic version. Um, I don't even see them there. I got the wrong link here that I clicked. Let me just click the eShop. Just so you can see the actual hydraulic version. There it is there. We were just actually looking at the load cell version. Yeah, here's the hydraulic version here with the setup. Most of the hydraulic versions are using the Wilwood um, brake setup. So again, decent looking pedal, 961 Canadian, 702 US. Okay, now we're heading on to the $1,000 to $6,000 sim pedals. Let's get into these bad boys. There's some cool looking pedals, some high end looking pedals, some pedals that I think if you know we were to get into a war, they'd still be around. They're, they're built well. So these are the Venom Ink Trek Series, 200 kilogram load cell, $1,038 Canadian, $757 USD. Again, they got all the options with them. You can change the colors. You can change the throttle springs, the LEDs. The lots of different customization options with these. <clears throat> then we get the Aztec Invictus hydraulic versions. So it's pretty much the same as the other pedals, but uh, a little bit better. Instead of them being load cell, they're hydraulic. I don't know how much better they are. I've never tried hydraulic. But uh, they are 1,039 Canadian. And then the Invictia S, which is the same pedals, but separated. A little bit more expensive. So we'll go ahead and we'll look at one of these. Um, decent looking pedal again. Very nice design. It looks like it was thought out. <clears throat> then we go down to the Sim Lab. Again, another popular brand. Seems to be a popular pedal. $1,100 Canadian. $803 US. Okay. So again, nice design, looks pretty modern, sleek, um, fancy looking setup here. 200 kilogram load cell. Um, yeah, $1,100 Canadian. Let's keep going. We got the Sim Magic P2000R, so they're the hydraulic Sim Magic versions. Uh, these bad boys, I believe, are fairly new. Again, Sim Magic seems to be fairly popular. A little bit different of a setup here than some of the other pedals. Probably their own design, but with that said, it's still looking fairly cool. Awesome setup here, looking for the calibration or software to control the pedals. That's the Sim Magics hydraulics. Then we got the SRP formulas. They're pneumatic pedals. $1,173 Canadian. $857 US. Not very sure what the, the difference is between pneumatic and the hydraulic and the, and the load cell. But you're looking at uh, a set of pneumatic pedals here and they look fancy. So these are formula pedals it says. Vehicles with ABS, yeah. So these are pretty high end pedals. Then we got the Sim Grade PHERAs, thirteen hundred US, nine forty nine forty nine US, thirteen hundred Canadian. And these bad boys are load cell, two hundred kilogram. Looks like a nice design to them. Pretty futuristic. Looks like all anodized. Um, then we move on to the Cube Controls, the SPL1. Again, seems to be another popular brand. Has a lot of good reviews online. Um, looks like they put a lot into the design of the pedals. They seem pretty high-end. Nice-looking pedal, that's for sure. $1,317 Canadian, $962 USD. We're going to keep going down. Then we get the BJ Steel GTs. These are the hydraulic versions. 1334 Canadian, 974 USD. Pretty high end looking set of pedals. Again, it's using a Willwood style brake setup. Um, but yeah, pretty fancy looking set of pedals there. Um, then we got the InSims, the Talentos, 
$1,386 Canadian, $1,012 US. They are 160 kilogram load cell. They sell some extra stuff for the pedals here on the site. Um, don't know much about them. Never heard of the brand name before, but had to include them. Stim checks, exact same thing. They could be popular. I've never heard of them myself. Pro GTs, $1,532 Canadian, $1,118 US, 200 kilogram load cell. And um, by the looks of these bad boys, I would say they were designed in house and probably got some high end. Uh, Looks like some high-end parts in them. A lot of time going into things. Looks like the software. They got their own software so for things. So that looks good. Um, nice. I love that. Okay, that's the Sim tracks. Then we go down to the Sim Grade R7s. Fifteen hundred thirty-five dollars. U or Canadian. Eleven hundred twenty-one USD. Two hundred kilogram load cell. And uh, these things here look like they were built for a robot. Super fancy looking. A lot of adjustments here on these pedals. Um, so uh, something like this. I, I like to have a lot of adjustments. Depending on where you are. Cockpit you got. Who's using the rig. I got a cool hill plate and stuff here. Very fancy old pedals. Uh, and then we got the SRP GTRs. Again pneumatic pedals. Fifteen hundred and forty dollars Canadian, eleven twenty-five USD. Super fancy looking pedal. Um, pneumatic, so check them out if you're looking to check out some new technology. I don't know, maybe it's been around for a while, but not something I heard of. I found them while looking for these pedals. Then we head on down to the P1 Sim Mistrels, fifteen hundred and fifty-six Canadian, eleven hundred thirty-seven dollars US. Again, they're super customizable. Um, looks like they're all carbon. Very cool looking pedal. Can't get it to work there. I don't know. Maybe it's got a load. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there's there's all the pedals with the different colors. Carbon faces. Very cool looking pedals. 200 kilogram load cell. Then we got the Huskevelt Husenvelt Ultimates. 200 kilogram load cell. 1755 Canadian. $1,281 US. These are the bad boys. Again, super popular. A lot of the esports guys use these hair pedals. Um, and they've been around for a long time, so they've proven themselves. So that's why they are the price they are. Um, then we keep going down. We got the Augury AP121s, 130 kilogram load cell, 1757 Canadian, 1284 USD. Decent little pedal. Lots of information on them. Very fancy looking pedal. Um, so yeah. Getting up there money. Only 130 kilogram load cell. But I mean. How much more than that do you really really need? Uh, next is the Venom. Black Widows. 130 kilogram load cell. 1777 Canadian. 1298 USD. These are bad boy pedals. Full carbons and lots of updates you can do to them. Upgrades, LED, carbon cover, base plate, brake kit, throttle springs, clutch springs. The whole thing's carbon. They got heel cups here. Uh, just a very cool set of pedals. Uh, not a very cool price, but I don't imagine it was cheap to put them together and build them and design the software and everything else. So. Uh, yeah, with that said, let's keep going. We got the Rickmotex GT Pro 1s, hydraulics, $1,779 US, $1,299 Canadian. They're inverted, Willwood style brake setups, all hydraulic. Um, they look like a bad boy set of pedals. They're inverted too, so anybody who likes inverted pedals, they're inverted and hydraulic, high end set of pedals. OBDP Pro Race V2 Hydraulic 1802 Canadian $1,317 US. Not a brand that I've heard of before. All hydraulic. 
Um, but I found them again on the net and had to include them. Looks like a pretty fancy set of pedals there. So, and we got Simworks Pro F1 V3. These are F1 pedals. $2,230 Canadian, $1,610 US. Um, pretty high end construction, all carbon, it looks like. They got the pedal stop here or the foot stop for the G's. Um, so again, very fancy set of pedals. I think they're designed for the F1s. Then we get the, down to another set of the Rickmotex, the Pro Tillions Hydraulics, $2,321 Canadian, $1,695 US. Fully hydraulic setups. And a nice set of pedals. And we get the Sim Coaches. All billet P1s, $2,463 Canadian, $1,800 US. Unreal. Just look at look at these things. Absolutely beautiful. These are carved out of big chunks of aluminum. A su super nice looking pedal set up, but it better be for the, for the price. $2,400 Canadian, $1,800 US. Ooh wee and we're going to go down to the Wave Italy's, the Empius, 150 kilogram load cell, $2,932 Canadian, $2,143 US. And they're supporting 150 kilogram load cell. Um, so this is what the pedals look like for the price. I don't see nothing special myself, but not even sure of the name. But hey, there's, there's, they got to be something special for the price or they're getting us uh next we got the simworks pro gtv3 140 kilogram load cell three thousand dollars canadian two thousand two hundred and ten dollars usd uh simworks let's see what we got here again they got the foot guard here for when you're hitting the g's uh so it doesn't slip off Fancy little design here, but uh, 140 kilogram load cell for $3,000 Canadian. This is all carbon. So it's, I'm guessing it's because of the design of the pedals. Um, but yeah, Simworks. Then we got the Frex GPs, hydraulics, $3,432 Canadian, $2,499 US. Um, not a company I've heard of. Looks like they're from Japan. Not much info to go off on these pedals. A little bit of an oddball design. Um, but yeah, kind of a fancy setup with that said. We go on to the next. Sim Tag Hiltons. $3,400 Canadian. $2,556 US. Um, another set of hydraulic pedals. Sim Tag Ashley Hydraulic Raisins. No reviews here on them. Couldn't find too, too much about them online. But I had to include them because they're up there in price and they are fairly cool looking. Next, we got the Pier C Racing, PR Racing, Billet Pedals, 500 kilogram load cell, $4,592 Canadian, $3,355 US. You got to buy two different pieces here. Uh, that's this piece here, and then you got to buy the sim racing piece. Brake cells, two 300 kilogram load cells. There's the brake uh, setup here. So again, it's a pretty high, high tech setup. You got to build it out yourself. Um, that's next level stuff. Then we leave it off with the most expensive of the night, the Sim Cube Active Pedal, six thousand four hundred ninety five dollars Canadian. $4,742 US. This is what they look like here. This is the set of the three. Um, basically, not exactly sure why they're $6,000 Canadian or $5,000 US. I'm guessing when you sit in your cockpit, you go to sleep. These things do the race for you. You win every time. And that's why you pay the money. That's my guess. So, uh, yeah, with that said, I spent a lot of time putting this list together. If you're buying a set of pedals, if you're upgrading your pedals, um, and you know your budget, head on over to revlimiter.com 
and up at the top menu you'll see sim racing pedals click that go through the list look in and around your budget go up a few hundred down a few hundred click the links compare the pedals um as you can see in the post here none of these links are affiliate links these are just straight links to the site so if this list helps you at all do me a favor like this video subscribe to the channel it all helps me in the end and uh with that said i hope you enjoy my my uh sim racing pedal list have a good night thanks for watching